for yet another Sunday of another opportunity for the free breath of life that the Almighty Father has granted unto us this morning. Brethren, let us begin to appreciate him. Let us begin to sweet unto him a sweet song. Let us thank our maker for yet another day. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us begin to appreciate him, our Father and our God. We thank you for your loving kindness upon our lives. We thank you because you are good. We, we thank you because you remain our Father and our God. Eternal Rock of Ages, blessed be unto thy holy name, our Father and our God. And we call upon your holy name today because you know that you, God, you are here to bless us. You said, wherever two or three people are joined hands together, you said, there you are, O oh Lord. Physically, we cannot be there because of the, 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 the global situation. But we thank you for the opportunity of technology that we are able to worship you, that we are able to praise you. Blessed be unto your holy name, Father, our God and our Father. Is there any way that we have trampled upon the blood of Jesus? Father, Lord, forgive us in thy mercy. Oh, Lord Jesus, forgive us in your mercy. Father, forgive us today. Come and bless us with your word, oh, Lord. Send forth your word to us, oh, Lord. Your own word from, from, from your, 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 your heavenly word, oh, Lord. Father, Lord, send it unto us, oh, Lord. Let your word liberate us. Let your word deliver us today. We know that you will bless us today accordingly. Father, blessed be unto the holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is the language the heaven sings. There is a chorus the angels shout. I am privileged to join them sing. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord, 
for everything you have done for us. Say hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For your goodness over us. For your mercy. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done for me. One more time. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For your goodness over us. For your mercy. Thank you, Lord. For everything you have done for me. Hallelujah, it's an heavenly language. Oh, it's an heavenly Hallelujah, it's an heavenly Hallelujah, Hallelujah, it's a Hallelujah, 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 Doctor Jesus, supernatural doctor. Supernatural doctor, Dr. Jesus, supernatural doctor, Jesus, supernatural doctor, Jesus, supernatural doctor, supernatural doctor, Jesus, supernatural doctor, supernatural doctor, Jesus, supernatural doctor. Supernatural doctor, hallelujah, hallelujah. Brethren, get excited because the Lord is here to, to endow us with his blessings. He's here to bless us accordingly today. Let us be in the attitude of praise and continue to praise him. His praise will never cease from my heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. Your name is beautiful. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got the whole world in your hand. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. Your name is beautiful. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got the whole world in your hand. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful, your name is excellent, your name is beautiful. I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got the whole world in your hand. You've got the whole world in your hand. You've got the whole world in your hand. You've got the whole world. In your hands, you've got the whole world in your hand. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, say you yeah, are the, the mighty, mighty God, God, the great I am. am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. Hallelujah, say you yeah, are the, the mighty God, God the great I am. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. The mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. 
Lord, we give you all the praise, 
Let our praises, let our worship, God, let it be acceptable in thy sight today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we worship. Amen. Over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday, everyone. Let's begin to lift up our hand right now. Let's begin to celebrate Jesus for the privilege in his presence this morning. Begin to worship the name of the Lord. Everything that have breath, let him praise the Lord. Thank God for another privilege in his presence this week. I appreciate the Lord Almighty for another week. Thank you for the peace all around you. Thank God for the marvelous things. He has done in your life, in our, our life, in the household of God. I appreciate the Lord Almighty. Thank him for his wonder. Thank God for his hearing our prayer and he will continue to answer us. I appreciate the Lord Almighty. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Daddy, we bless your holy name. We appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. We worship you this morning. Begin to say, Daddy, we thank you. Father, we worship you, Lord. Accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen. As we open our Bible to the book of Psalm 126, and I'm going to read verse 1 to 3, Psalm 126, verse 1 to 3. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we... Yeah, come on, do it. Okay, I've done it. We are like them that do. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. And our tongue was singing. Then said, they are among the hedren. The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. Let us oh. Hallelujah. The Lord has done great things in our life. Brethren, I don't want us to look at the circumstances around us right now. Let's have it in our mind to begin to worship the name of the Lord. Thank God for turning again our captivity, the one that kept us alive to today, the one that fighting all our battle. As we begin to worship the Lord Almighty this morning, we do wonder in our life. We turn away again all our captivities right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Fulfill your mouth and my mouth with laughter and our tongue with singing. Appreciate him for great things he has done in your family. Appreciate the Lord Almighty for what he has done in your life in your marriage, in your family, in your home, even in the even in our midst, in the household of God, CVCI. Let's begin to say that the will thank you. We appreciate you, O Lord, for the great thing that you have done, O Lord. Father, we thank you for our ministry this morning. Begin to thank him. Give him, give God quality praise. Worship him for the gladness of your heart. King of kings, we thank you. Lord of Lord, we bless your holy name. We are here this morning to say that it thank you. Father, we thank you, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the wonders that you are doing in our midst. As the book of Psalm 3, verse 5 says, it says, I, you, I laid me down and slept, and I awake for the Lord that sustained me. Uh -uh, it's the Lord that sustained you. It's the Lord that sustained me, brethren. Thank God for counting you among the living today. For the Lord that sustain you, you slept and you are awake. It's not by your power. It's not by your mind. Ah, uh -uh, is the one that sustain you. Is the Lord that been on your side? He said, if the Lord, if it's not the Lord that be on our side, what will we will be saying this morning? But because He's been on your side, you are able to go to bed last night. You are able to wake up this morning, begin to worship Him, give Him glory, praise the name of the Lord, magnify Him. Our hope of glory, Father, we thank you. Thank him for the joy and the strength in your life. He's the one that giving you strength. Thank him for changing your story. Uh -uh. As the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 11 said, that the thought I have for you is the thought of good and not of evil. Uh -uh. Thank God for the thought of good I have in your life. Thank God for the thought of good that he has for you and your family. Appreciate him. Even the book of Joel, verse 2, verse 20, uh, chapter 2, verse 25 said, he said, I will restore. Uh -uh. All back to you, all the year that canker and caterpillar has been eating, he has promised that he will restore you and he's doing it. It's a marvelous God. Father, we thank you. Begin to worship him, brethren. Begin to say, Daddy, we thank you. We thank you for, for restoration. We thank you for the good thought that you have towards us. 
Father, we thank you for your plan over our life. Even the world is planning something about you are planning good. You have good thoughts for our life, our family. Father, we thank you for the manifestation of the thought of good. We thank you for the manifestation of restoration in our life. Father, we bless your holy name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Begin to worship him, brethren. Begin to say that he thank you. I, I give him quality worship. As the Psalm 1, 2, as the Psalm 129, verse 2, it says, Many at times have they afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. Ha <laughs> ha. That is that can only be our Almighty God. It did not allow the enemy to prevail over you. It did not allow the enemy to prevail over us, or over the household of God. Let's thank God for not allow the enemy to prevail over our life. Let's thank God for not allow enemy to prevail over our family. It did not allow the enemy to prevail over household of God. Appreciate him, despite all the affliction of evil. People, ah uh ah, -uh, and Kawamo, he kept the household of God. We did not hear any bad news. Any bad report to one another on this in this assembly, appreciate the Lord Almighty. Begin to worship Him, brethren. Begin to say that we will thank you. We appreciate you, O Lord. Despite all the plan of the enemy, ah, uh -uh, you kept us alive. He kept you me alive. Ah, uh, that can only be the mercy and grace of God. Give Him thanks for that mercy. Give Him thanks for that grace. Give Him quality praise right now. Thank you, brethren. Thank God. Appreciate God for that grace and for that mercy over your household, over your life. Father, we worship you. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. This morning, we are here to say, Daddy, we thank you. This morning, we are here to say, Daddy, we bless your holy name. We appreciate your holy name. We acknowledge you, O Lord, for whom you have, Father. We thank you for our in and out, O Lord. We bless your holy name. Even with all what is going on around us, oh Lord, and for epidemic and pandemic that is going on in the world, Father, you are keeping us safe. You are protecting us. Father, we bless your holy name. Father, the little we brought this morning, let it be acceptable. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we are giving thanks. Amen. Amen. So we are going to humble ourselves before him right now. We are going to say, Daddy, every area will come short of his glory. Daddy, have mercy upon us. Let's begin to ask the Lord Almighty to have mercy upon us. Everywhere we come short of his glory. That Daddy, Father, we call upon your name, O Lord. Anything that can hinder us, O Lord, that will not make our, our service to be acceptable in front of you this morning. Daddy, have mercy upon us. Forgive us, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I we call upon your name, O Lord. Father, have mercy upon us. Wash us, clean us, O Lord, create in us a new heart, O Lord, and your right spirit within us, and let your name God be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless your name. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And we are going to pray right now, brethren. Let us pray that whatever the enemy's agenda might be for us, as we are joining this week, hallelujah, as we are going to the rest of this month, as, as throughout this year and beyond, let us pray that Almighty to turn it to our advantage, every agenda of enemy. But it's the only the God that not allow them. Let us begin to pray right now that every agenda of the enemy consigning our house, consigning our children, our husband, our family, consigning the household of God, the Lord Almighty should destroy the agenda of the enemy. The Lord Almighty should turn all this agenda of the enemy all up to our own advantage. Uh -uh, whatever they are thinking about us for evil, God should turn it to our own advantage right now. Begin to pray right now. As we are praying, Father, begin to pray that Lord Almighty turn it to our advantage. Every agenda of enemy consigning this, uh, this forum, consigning the house of God, consigning the Christian body. Uh -uh, Father, turn it to our advantage in the mighty name of Jesus. This week shall be week of good news for us to the glory of God in our life. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We worship you, Lord. To you alone be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And brethren, we are going to pray once again that every agenda of any consigning the Christian body, because what devil is attacking the, uh, the Christian body, the Lord Almighty, every day plan, let it be scattered. 
Let us continue to pray right now. That Lord Almighty, no Lord, we pray right now. Scatter every agenda of enemy consigning the household of God, consigning the Christian body all over the world, oh Lord. Whatever that the enemy is planning in their own spiritual realm, whatever they are planning, oh Lord. Father, destroy it, oh Lord, destroy it, oh Lord, fight all our battles, oh Lord, and let your name God be glorified. Father, you say, arise, oh Lord, let all your enemies be scattered. All our enemies, the enemy of God. Father, scatter all the enemy of the Christian body. Father, all our leaders, we commit them into your hand, oh Lord. Father, we pray for them, anoint them afresh in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Plant your mind into them, oh Lord, and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless your name, we worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And brethren, lastly, we are going to pray right now. We are going to commit the rest of the service today to the Lord's hand. The Lord Almighty should take control. He should speak to us through his servant. That every word that we come out this morning to change our life, to transform our life, that anointing our prayer, the Lord Almighty should pour it upon the servant. Let us begin to pray right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we commit the rest of the service. Father, into the Lord's hand, oh Lord, Father, take control, oh Lord, take honor, take glory, take all the adoration, speak to us, oh Lord, through your servant, send your word, oh Lord, again. Daddy, we want to hear you, oh Lord, the one that will change our life, the one that will transform us. Father, change, send it, Lord, this morning. The servant you are going to use this morning, anointing afresh, pour it upon that servant, oh Lord. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name, oh Lord. When, Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, to you alone be all the glory. Father, we worship you, Lord. We continue to appreciate you. Begin to say that we thank you. We bless the holy name. Forever and ever, you will be glorified. Your word is said to in heaven. To you alone be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. <laughs> Back to you.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, good morning, church. Um, before we go, we um, I'm gonna sing this song. Hallelujah. Amen. Deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. Daily let me go higher, higher in the school of wisdom, more of grace to know. Oh, deeper yet I pray, and higher every day. And wise a blessed Lord in thy precious holy word. Deeper, deeper, though it costs a trial, deeper let me go. Rooted in the Holy love of Jesus, let me fruitful sing. Oh, deeper yet I pray, and higher every day, and wise a blessed Lord. In the precious holy word. Amen. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning that you will bless your holy name. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the adoration. We thank you for another day. Thank you for another opportunity you have given to us to come before you. Father, as your children, we have come together again this morning to worship you, Lord, to, to serve you, to, to give all the adoration unto you. Father, as we come, I pray, Lord, that you will bless us in the name of Jesus. And as your word, we come out this afternoon, Father, I pray, Lord, that your word will bless our soul in the name of Jesus. Both the hearer and the, and, the, and the speaker of your words this morning, I pray, Lord, that you will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as your word will come out, let it come out with power, let it come out with healing, let it come out with deliverance, let Amen. it come out with blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And at the end of this service today, Lord, let all the glory be returned back to you. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. The topic of today's message is get to know God better. Amen. Amen. Know God better. As his children, we get we need to know our father better. Amen. We need to know him better. And the only way we can know him better is through his word. Amen. Through his word, through his Holy Spirit. That's the only way we can know him better. And if we don't go to the world, there's nothing the Holy Spirit can do. But when we go to the word of God, the Holy Spirit will be there to help us all together. Amen? So Amen. when you pursue a greater knowledge of God, you are on the adventure of a lifetime, full of trials and experiences. Amen? This one word, adventure, we know when people are on adventure, they go, they risk their life, they go from one place to the other, they just want to find something, amen? Likewise, we should have the desire to look, to pursue the knowledge of our God, to know him better, to be closer to him, so that we can get the blessing that we need from him, amen? So we Christian as well, we are on adventure when we are pursuing the knowledge of God, when we are doing this, we are on adventure that is full of trials, but God will surely see us through, and he will bless us in return, in the name of Jesus. Amen? What, you are, what you've learned about God so far, 
should give you hunger to know him even more. Amen? When you are an adventure, what you learn on the way, what you learn through his word is a big thing that will make us to be hungry for him more. Amen? We need to be hungry for him more so that he can, you know, so that we can know him better, so that we can even be more closer to him. You must never be satisfied with what you know as a Christian. Don't be satisfied with what you know as a Christian. Amen? So we are going to look at these words. We are going to look at some scriptures in the Bible before we go further. And the first scripture we are going to look at is in the book of Job chapter 11. Job chapter 11, verses 7 and 8. Job 11, 7 and 8. Hallelujah. Then can you search out the deep, the deep things of God? Can you find out the limit of the Almighty? They are higher and uh, they are higher than heaven. What can you do deeper than shell? What can you know? So all these things, nobody can search the deep things of God. It's so deep that we need to continue in our daily, daily life in order to know him better. Amen? <coughs> we need to continue to search for him, to know him better. That is in the book of Job 11, Job chapter 11, 7 and 8. He said, can you search out the deep things of God? Can you as a Christian search out the deep things of God? The only way you can search out is to go to the Bible. Even no matter how deeper you go, you can still, you can never be satisfied with the things of God. You still want to know him more. You still hungry for him more. That is the way Christians are supposed to be. When you look at the people on, a, on adventure, they always go from one place to the one place to another when they are looking for something. Some people die on the way. We will not die on the way. We will continue to look until we fulfill, until we fulfill our purpose here or not. Amen? So we can see here that no one can ever search the deep things of God because it's higher and it's deeper. Amen? So, so it says, you must never be sat satisfied with what you know about him already. Yes? Don't be satisfied. Don't settle for, for just uh, like 10%, 20%. Aim for 100%. Amen? Don't be satisfied with what you know already. Oh, I'm a Christian. I know this. I know our Father who is in heaven. I know the Lord is my shepherd. And the Psalm 91 say, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. You need to know more than that. You need to go beyond that. You need to go beyond the elementary, amen, so that we can know him better, so that we can get to know him better as his children, amen. So, no wonder Paul said in Philippians 3.10, we can read that, Philippians 3.10, hallelujah, Philippians 3.10, Philippians 3.10. Hallelujah. He says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being conformed to his death. Hallelujah. Paul wanted to know more. And likewise, we children of God, we ought to, we ought to aim like that as well. We need to know him more. We need to know our father more so that we can enjoy the blessing that he has for us. Amen. That is what Paul said. He said, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. We are going to look at uh, four uh, practical benefits of knowing God. Just four. Amen? Maybe another time we can, we can look at more. more four practical uh, benefits of knowing God. The number one, number one practical uh, benefit is blessing. Amen? We all want to be blessed. I believe that we all want to be blessed, not only in material things. How about the spiritual things? You need to aim for that. We need to be blessed spiritually. When you are blessed spiritually, financial, material things will follow. Amen. That's where he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all the other things shall be added unto you. Those are the benefits 
Amen. Blessing. The more you know God and obey the, uh, the and obey His will, the more you will experience His blessing. Hallelujah. The more you know God and obey His will, the more you will experience His blessing in your life. We are going to look at the Deuteronomy. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. Deuteronomy 32. I'm going to read verse 44 to 46. Hallelujah. It says, So Moses, Deuteronomy 32, uh, 44 to 46. So Moses came with Joshua, the son of Nun, and spoke all the words of, of, of these songs in the hearing of the people. Amen. You know Moses, how close Joshua is with Moses. He's his right hand man. Amen. Anywhere you see Moses, Joshua is always there. And that is how, no wonder when, uh, when, when, when Moses left, then Joshua took over. Hallelujah. So he now said, to, and he spoke all the words of these songs in the hearing of the people. Moses finished speaking all these words to all Israel, and he said to them, Set your eyes on all the words which I testify among you today, which you shall command your children to be careful to observe, to obey, amen, to look into, to observe, to obey, to look into all the words of this law. Amen. So he says in the uh, verse 7, for it is not a futile, a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And by this, by this word, you shall prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to possess. Amen. The word of God is our life. Amen. Look at what he says there in that last uh, verse 47. Say, for it is not a futile thing for you because it is your life. Amen. It is your life. The word of God is our life. If we have a God, if we have the word of God in our life, we have life. Amen. Hallelujah. And says that's the only way we can experience the blessing of God by obeying his word, by, you know, by looking into his word by listening to the Holy Spirit, and we can enjoy the blessing of God. Number, number, uh, practical number two, amen? The benefit of knowing God is peace, amen? We all want to have peace, and we know what peace of God is. The peace of mind, when you have peace of mind, you know what it is. He says, uh, the more you know God, the more you at peace, the more at peace you will be, Amen? The more you know God, the more at peace you will be. Hallelujah. Shall we uh, open to the Second Peter chapter 1, 2, 2, 2. Amen. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 2. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 2. Hallelujah. It says, grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. How good it is to, to have peace of God in our life. And he says, yes, struggles and setback will come. Amen. No doubt about that. In the midst of all these things, if you have the peace of God, you'll be able to go through, amen, victoriously. He says, yes, struggles and setback will come. But even then, you will have a sense of well-being because you feel his nearness. You feel the presence of God. Peace is the presence of God in your life. He's showing you that God is in that situation with you. He's in whatever you are going through with you. Amen? That is peace of God in your life. Amen? Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 2. And his nearness Number three, practical, amen, wisdom. He said, Paul prayed that God would give the Ephesians a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Hallelujah. He prayed for them that God should give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. 
in the knowledge of him. Let's open our Bible to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. He says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The wisdom, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That is Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17. Hallelujah. So wisdom is seeing things the right way. That is wisdom. Wisdom is seeing things in the right way, not in the physical way, because the physical way could confuse you. You don't know what to do. But when the wisdom of God comes, you know what to do at the right time. Amen? That is what wisdom can do. Wisdom is seeing things in the right way. Revelation is the when God bypasses the limit, uh, limitation of your mind and shows you things otherwise. Amen. That is revelation. Maybe you've been struggling for something for so long, you don't know what to do. And uh, revelation just comes. And now, all oh, it bypass all the limitation, the limitation of your mind. Though the revelation will bypass all those things. Then it will show you what to do. Then I'm sure when things like that happen in your life, you are so happy, you are, you are at peace, then you don't have, then the struggle, then you put an end to all the things that you are struggling in your mind for. Amen? The limitation of your mind and shows you the things otherwise. Would you, uh, otherwise that you wouldn't know. Amen? Something that you wouldn't know at all. The revelation of God will show you what to do. Instead of finding a solution to life's problem, every now and then, you can you can walk each day in a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Amen. Wisdom and revelation is very important in our Christian walk. Amen. Very, very important. When you have the when you don't know what to do, ask for the wisdom of God. God, give me that wisdom. Show me what to do. We remember uh, Solomon as a young man, young king. God said, What do you want me to do for you? Solomon said, just give me wisdom. That's all, that's all I need. Wisdom to lead these people out, to lead them in, to lead them in, to lead them out, so that he can lead the people wisely. Amen? So many people in the world today, so many leaders in, in the world today, there is no wisdom to lead people. But when they have the wisdom of God, everything will be well with us. Amen? I pray that God will endow us with wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? <clears throat> then the uh, the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Then the last uh, practical uh, benefit is freedom. Amen. The last practical benefit is wisdom. Galatians 4 8. The book of Galatians 4 8. Hallelujah. Galatians 4 8. It says, But then, indeed, when you did not know God, you served those which by nature are not God. Amen. When you don't know God, we know what we do when we don't know God. We go here and there. We walk by the opinion of people. We listen to what people say. We don't even know. We, we cannot even decide by ourselves. We always allow people to judge us, to condemn us. But when you know God, you are free. Amen. Amen. The knowledge of God will give you freedom. Hallelujah. And without the confidence, hallelujah, without the confidence that comes from knowing God and you standing before him, you become a slave to circumstances. Amen. If you don't have the confidence in knowing God, then you become a slave to circumstances, emotions, and other people's opinions. Amen. Other people's opinion will put you down. It will tell you that you cannot do it. Other people's opinion will put you in bondage. Circumstances will put you in bondage. Emotionally, you will be in bondage. Oh, I don't know what to do. 
how can I handle this? What can I do in this situation? You are that means that person is a, is a slave. Amen. He's a slave. You might be walking around as a person, but he says that person is a slave. Amen. He's in bondage. And the word of God is there to liberate us, to bring us out of the bondage that the enemies have put us. Amen. Hallelujah. Those are the things that we need to know as his people. And by doing that, we will know that uh, nobody can put us in bondage. Other pe people's opinion doesn't count. When God says something about you, when God says he set you free, you are free indeed. Then when God says you are blessed, you are blessed indeed. When you are faced with circumstances, you'll be able to go through it in peace. Then, he said, refuse to live that way. Instead, get to know God better. Refuse to live that way, the way uh, the, the, the way according to the opinions of people, according to the circumstances, according to the emotions, that is the way you live before. But now that you know God, then you need to refuse to live that way. Instead, get to know God better. Hallelujah. We need to get to know our Father better. We need to get to know him better so that we can enjoy the blessings that he has for us. And I pray that as we go deeper in his word, as we go day by day in his word, God will continue to empower us. He will, he will, he will draw us closer so that we can enjoy all the benefits that he, he has for us. We will have the peace, even in the midst of, of, of circumstances, of unpleasant situations, God will give us peace so that we can enjoy him. Amen. Then we will enjoy the blessing of God in our life. Hallelujah. And that's the message for today. He said, get to know God better. Get to know him better. Amen. I pray that the power to know God better, God will endow it to us in the name of Jesus. He will empower us from above. He will draw us closer to himself so that we can know him better. Why who ask the Father, why would your children not relate with you? If your children don't relate with you, I'm sure you don't, you don't say so much to them. But when your children are so close to you, then you relate together, you talk together, you pour your heart to each other, then that shows that your relationship, you get it to know each other better. And that's the way God wants us to be closer to him so that we can get to know him better in our daily walk with him. I pray that God will strengthen us. He will empower us in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray two prayer points. Then I hand over. The first prayer is this, that God Almighty, help me, draw me closer to yourself, Lord, so that the people of the world will see your glory in me and through me. Hallelujah. I hope we understand that prayer. When God draw us closer, the people of the world will see the glory of God in our lives, and they will see the glory of God through us. And they too, they will enjoy the glory of God. Hallelujah. God Almighty, help us, Lord, draw us closer to yourself so that the people of the world will see your glory in us and through us. We see your glory through the church and uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray that prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, today that, Lord Almighty, draw us closer to yourself so that the people of the world can see your glory in us and through the church in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the people of the world see your glory through us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are the church. It's not the building. Hallelujah. We are the church. And wherever we go, people of God, people must see the glory of God in our life. They must enjoy the glory of God through us. Pray that prayer very well. God Almighty, draw us closer to yourself and release your glory upon us so that people of God can see your glory in us and through us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. The last prayer is this. God Almighty, this day we come before you. Any power that come together that says your glory will not be seen upon us. Father, today we destroy them. We terminate their power in the name of Jesus. Any power that come together of the enemy against your church that says that your glory will not be seen to us. Father, today we terminate their plan, we terminate their appointment in the mighty name of Jesus. Every appointment of the wicked one that says your glory will not be seen to us. 
through the church, Father, we terminate them today in the name of Jesus. We terminate them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Father in heaven, we thank you this morning. We bless your holy name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you for your word. Thank you for what you have done in this place today. Thank you for what the blessing we have received in your presence today. We thank you for your word. We pray, Lord, Daddy, as we have we hear your word this morning. I pray, Lord, that you help us to always grow in you, to work with you in our day-to-day -day life in the mighty name of Jesus, so that we can enjoy your blessing, so that people of the world can see your glory through us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, Lord, that you give us peace, even in the midst of unpleasant situations. Father, give us your peace in the name of Jesus. Let us be aware that you are so close to us in the mighty name of Jesus. And liberate us from every bondage, from every, every critics, from every, every opinion of man. Father, liberate us. Set us free to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Over to you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Announcement time. We appreciate the hand of the Lord in our life in CVC International. You are all welcome to the house of the Lord, the CVC. May God continue to give us the gift of life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. On Mondays, we have prayer warrior meeting from 7 p.m. On Wednesdays, we have meeting of automatic answers to prayer from 9 a.m. In the evening, we have prayer line from 9 p.m. All these programs are important. We all need prayer. Let us find time to join our brethren. May God help us in Jesus' name. This Saturday, the 28th of June, is the hour of mercy. Please, let us attend. We turn the members that contributed financially for the family of our two sisters, Mrs. Odubola Sr. and Dickiness Olari Waju. He who shall not be volus anymore in Jesus' name. The Almighty God shall be there for us with His grace at all times. Amen. As a body of Christ, let us check on each other through phone calls. May God Almighty continue to keep us and also safe in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. The Lord is good. All the time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Amen. We thank Amen. Almighty God for this morning. I believe every one of us has been blessed by the word of God. And we are going now. And we need to commit this week into God's hand that the blessing of God should continue to be with us this, this week as we are going out, that our Lord to come and teach us what to do and strut our feet Amen. and lay his mighty hands upon us. We believe that this week, Almighty God will give us the grace to search the will of God to meditate in the word of God, to pray. That is what we need, to read the word of God and understand it, and to commit ourselves into God's hands, because it's the only one that can, that can protect us. We don't have power on our own. That's where we fully depend on him. That's where he, he, we call him our Lord. It's a good shepherd. It's a really good shepherd. He will direct our path this week. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, to God be the glory. We thank you this morning, Lord, for this service today. We, we say thank you. We appreciate you, Father. We know that you have blessed us for this week. And as we are going this week, Lord Jesus, let us receive divine favor from you, Lord Jesus. Once you favor us, who is a man? We need your favor. Then when we have received favor from you, we receive favor from man. Lord Jesus, as we are going this week, come and direct our path, Lord. Any arrow of enemy, back to the sender. Protect us from the hands of enemy, Lord. We commit our children to your hands, Lord Jesus, this week. Lord, come and lead them and guide them. Come and protect them. We don't have power on our own, Lord. We surrender to you. We want you to come and lead us and guide us. To come and strengthen us, Lord. We are going in your strength, Lord. This week, we are going in your strength. Thank you, Jesus, because you hear all our prayers, Lord. This week, let it be a blessed week for us. Give us the wisdom and knowledge according to your word that we have just had now, that the blessing of Almighty God to be with us, to give us the grace, to protect us, to give us the wisdom Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. I commit all the all, every one of us into the Almighty God, that Almighty God to cover every one of us with His precious blood, and lay His mighty hands upon every one of us, and lay His mighty hands upon our household and so surround us with the, with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let us share the grace together. Let us share the grace. Amen. 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 God bless every one of us. Amen. God bless.